It's late September and I'm at a deer kill from V083 and V084 of the Cranberry Bay Pack. Um, these wolves put out a number of locations in this area. I visited the area to see what occurred and found evidence of a deer kill. Um, in this case, it was a male deer, a buck, um, and they consumed the vast majority of that animal. One of the samples we take at a uh, kill site, if we can get it, is a marrow sample to evaluate the condition of the deer when it died. Um, so we take a, a, a marrow sample from one of the leg bones, dry it out, and we can index how much fat was in that marrow, um, and that's an indice of what condition that animal was in when it, when it was killed. Um, so we try to do that at the site if possible so we don't have to carry bones out of the field. Um, in this case, I was able to find the femur. This is our preferred bone, but we can do it from other leg bones as well. Um, so I'm gonna show how we remove marrow from a long bone. Um, if we're doing it in the field, we can just use tools that are around. In this case, I have a rock. Um, and I'm gonna be careful not to get any uh, contamination like rock or bone in the sample because that would affect its weight once we dry it out. So I'm just gently shattering the bone. And then I'll kind of peel that away. And rock is actually a, a pretty good tool for this. And I can see that already that this marrow um, is pretty white with a little bit of pink in it, which tells me that this deer was in a, a pretty good shape when it was killed. Um, if, the, if the marrow was um, really red and, and almost jelly-like, um, that would indicate that there was little fat reserves in this animal. Um, and that it was probably in poor condition. However, um, you can see that this is white with a hint of pink, um, and that's an ind indicator that this animal was in pretty good shape. So I'll peel out a piece of that marrow, um, and we get, try to get as much as we can, um, but I have a piece of marrow there that's um, it's pretty uh, hard and um, solid, so that's another indicator that there's a lot of fat in this marrow um, and that this deer was in good condition um, when it was killed. Um, Again, I, we try to get as much as we can so we get a, a better sample of, of the marrow. Again, hold this up. You can see this is uh, pretty white, um, breaks apart, but has a little bit of red in it. So this um, animal, again, had a lot of fat in its marrow in pretty good shape. And that's how we collect marrow in the field.